Hey everyone, Hellhog here, and you may know me better as AX Silver on the Shadowlands. I just want to do a cool little run through of my stronghold in case anyone was looking for ideas for a stronghold, how to decorate it, or just want to see what some of the strongholds are in the game right now. So, this main room that you first walk into kind of just has some of my favorite things cool little ranker mount, of course, double blade lightsaber because assassins rule. I also like a merc, so I got some Mandalorian stuff. But of course, more importantly, it's a utility room. Got all my cargo bays that I need, GTN, mod station, appearance, vendors, galore. So yeah, it's it's got a little everything I need, one-stop shop. Pretty much the only thing I can't do here is, you know, pick up and turn in quests. You know, I, I even have a little encryption terminal where I can get, you know, 1,000 to 4,000 credits every time I click it. Of course, there's a cooldown for that. But yeah, so just a simple... Well, entry room has all everything I need, so it's a uh, very handy. But yeah, so the theme of my theme of my stronghold is based around end game content and accomplishments, as you will see. So I start off this first room, or not really a room; it's a hallway, kind of just with some artwork and some lighting. Keep it relaxed, keep it cool looking, peaceful. I really like this like dystopian style stuff. It's a uh, Pretty neat. Dread. All that. So the first room I'll go, go ahead and show off is my Scum and Villainy slash Terror from Beyond room. It's pretty much got decorations from the raids, including my trophies for my hardest level that I've completed so far. Or and even if I don't have decos from the, from the raids themselves, decos themed from the raids. So in this case I got some Kray Dragons. Uh, Frozen Carmenite dude, his little stall, merchant rug. Of course, for TFB, I got the power core and your hypergator regularity. So yeah, it's it's kind of a plain room. It feels empty because I don't have anything over here. I don't know if I'll fill that or not. So my favorite uh, raid room is this one. This is my room of dread. Got my little cages here, my holocrons. Of course, the brand new Sith pool. A volcanic Keldrake chilling out. But uh yeah, I like this room a lot. It's kinda eerie looking, it really fits the Star Wars theme, I think, for Dark Side plus the the Dread story was probably one of my favorites. So yeah, trophies for completion, Sith Mantelpiece. I forget what this one's called, but it's like a Dread Fate placard or something like that. Kinda eerie do have some temple whispers going, but uh, it's kind of hard to hear. Maybe we'll pick it up. You can kind of hear a droid in the background. The droids around, unfortunately. But yeah, I like I like this room. It's it's got that eerie look to it. So next room I'm going to show is some people I like I know call it like a garage or they'll put mounts in here. I kind of have a dual focus. It's like my technological room for all the computers and stuff as well as ravagers. You know, I got Rishi and then the trophies associated with the raid the flag as well as Yavin and a Yavin flag and associated trophies. A little Sith table. Got my Sith female here checking out the planet seeing if there's anything to go on little technological sound, play with this, activate, it's kind of cool, little imperial command center, what's the idea behind this room, it's working on computers, the whole backbone of the operation. So two hallways I have are kind of uh, similar looking with a little bit of difference on this side, but yeah I got Pretty much data crons, lights going up the hall. I thought it was the perfect spot for it. And some posters and some more artwork that I have. Go ahead and show the other side too. This is uh, probably one of the coolest artwork in the game. It's just really neat looking. Tatooine. Kind of looks like a bounty hunter and a droid almost. Can't tell though. Love that little aura, aurora. So warning, we're going outside. It's dangerous out here, and the frame rate sucks. Yay. But yeah, just some warning stuff. 
I wish this could hold starships. I mean, it could hold this, but it's kind of weird looking with the stand. So I just decided to put this for now. There's some other things I'd like to put up there, but I'm just kind of settle on this for now. Some lights, a radar dish kind of, although this building kind of blocks half of it. A little hut ball stand because nothing's safer than playing around with a ball that will blow you up when you could fall off the side. Some ammunition, some crates. So yeah, like a normal outdoors kind of thing. Go ahead through here. Let's go to my main kind of temple room or throne or whatever you want to call it is where meetings would be held. Very reddish, whoops, very reddish lighting going. Try and keep a dark theme to it. I kind of mixed two decos here. The dark data crowns again. Some cool paintings, but kind of keeping with that reddish coloring. My Imperial Guard doing their handiwork. I'm not sure what these guys are waiting around for. I'm clearly not sitting up there. They should go make their lives useful. Oops. It's another little hallway coming up, kind of. It's just lead to my last four rooms. Just some pottery from Section X area. Another really cool deco. Fountain of Blood and Fire. My frozen carbonite trophies, kind of. People that crossed me and they won't ever again. My captured young Padawan. She, uh, I will eventually turn her to the dark side, of course. Some of the rooms I got, more raid rooms, kind of. This is KP, or pardon me, Karaga's Palace, Eternity Vault. So again, more decos either from it or kind of representing it. You know, little Rakata attacker here, Rakata Mystic. Of course, KP, fat old Karaga. Some trophies from it. It'll Rakata deco up there as well. This room over here is like a dual purpose. Uh, Eternal Championship. Explosive Conflict. Uh, some decos from that. This isn't from it, it's just I don't have a Kephas customization for Kaizen, so instead I went with just putting a Trandoshan Merc. Again, like I said, Eternal Championship. Kind of interesting trophies that they made for those. It's, there's Zotar. And of course, epic enemies, and then decorations from either the events that are associated with it or from the from the guys themselves. A monolith, Golden Fury, Eyeless, Xeno, and their trophies. That was a fun fight, monolith. A while to beat, it was pretty hard. But a third of little Rakul dudes. And. Plague written pets as well. And then the last room, which is a lot of fun, I think, is my PvP kind of GSF room. Only thing GSF is this. Everything else is kind of more PvP based. Uh, paintings from maps, you know, Void Star and Hubball. Little dancer. It's kind of like a party room, kind of. I got party chatter going. My trophies from. PvPing. I wasn't exactly that great in Season 2, and I gave up too early in Season 3. More decos from it. I'll have something to add in Season 7. We'll see how far I get. But yeah. So you kind of chill, hang out, get money from the conspicuous consumption probe. It's just dropping money like crazy. Hang out with the Tweelik Dancer, fix your weapon, fix your lightsaber, fix your armor, you know, RP that stuff. Oh yeah. So yeah, I like this room. Got a little Mandalorian mat underneath. Hut ball. Chandelier up top. Very, very neon. So yeah, it's a fun room. Nowhere really to sleep, but I don't need to sleep. I just pass out in the party room. But yeah, so that's my uh, that's my stronghold, the theme around it. And, you know, I update it maybe once in every few months, but I don't make too many changes. But yeah, hope you uh, hope you found this video kind of helpful or fun to watch or interesting or something along that line. So that was the purpose of it.
So, uh, yeah, take care.